game two of the current series. If you've not yet seen game one, you might want to go watch that first. Uh, there'll be a link in the description as well as in a button on the video. Game two now between Millennium's Feast and Idris I Ichi's Idra in the pool play in Pool D at the IM World Championship held in Hanover, Germany on uh, this game was March 7th. Now, Feast is our red Protoss up in the northern position here on Antigua Shipyard. We're up at the 11 o'clock position, to be precise. And then Idra is our blue Zerg down in the 5 o'clock position. Now, Feast is up 1 0 after that last game. Nope. Or no, Idra is up 1 0. Yeah. Now, one interesting thing that I was confused me is so, Idra is named after. A Hindu god of war and conquest, or allegedly is. Very nearly is. Feast drop and pylon down is natural. Probably another forge fast expand. But the name of that god is Indrajit. Right. And Idra, Idra knows to avoid um, the N letter. I'll wow. get all out of my system in a minute. I just... I can't stop myself. Scout probe coming in. Seeing nothing, seeing the pool getting dropped. Yeah, but you're going pool first. That is, that feels low. <laughs> the real shame of it is I, I, Orb was just on the state of the game. I, you know, hearing him talk, it's like, he's not a bad guy. He's not a racist. He's... It's just a shitty situation all around, and it's kind of unfortunate, I think, for Orb that because he's not as much of a celebrity as, say, Idra, that he gets fired and he's going to have a harder time, you know, picking up from here, but Feast oh, dropping feast. is natural. Yeah, Feast going Nexus first. As his probe oh. continues to be annoying, it's about to die, but it drops oh, yeah. the pylon in the way. Probe taking a lot of damage, it drops the pylon as... Dying wish. But he doesn't end up dying. The drone breaks off to go start knocking down the pylon. And the yeah. shields are back up now. He can come back and poke that drone. Oh, he's, he's going Zerglins for it. are finishing now, though. Oh, yeah. It's time to run for Zerglins. Take out the pylon quicker. Yep, that pylon will not be around for long. Probes making its way to what would be the third for Idra, but it won't matter. But yeah, so anyway, back to back to Indrajit versus Idra. I, you know, I, I can see how it's allegedly named after it, but I mean, would you say the word "thus" is similar to thesaurus? I mean, okay, so you have a few letters, a couple of them in the same order. Fee's yeah. actually remaining supply blocked by that pylon going down a bit longer than you'd normally see. Her. We saw last game. I'm oh, finally breaking that. It just seems iffy, whereas Feast, you know, that's simple Feast. I'm pretty sure... Yeah. It's gonna not much a question. Weird. Yeah, there's no question about that one, nothing weird, no need to explain it, you know? Oh, Hydra dropping a fairly quick third. Still no gas. Fairly similar to what we saw last game, I guess. Yeah, same build as last game. One's are been poking and just sort of observing in the front line. Now the cybernetic score has finished. Will anything interesting immediately follow it? It's looking like a no. He is grabbing work at research right away. But that's to be expected. Yep, no chrono on it yet. First sentry on its way to the ramp, or... To get. No, change it, not swim in the middle line. Idra grabbing gases at his main. His third hatchery is just about to finish. Yep, 33 probes, 30 drones. Now, the robotics facility is the next tech structure that Feast has dropped. The probe coming in here, getting chased off by a Zergling now, though. Idris. But he did see the third was up. 
Idris coming in with a potentially sacrificial overlord. Feast sees it and has a couple sentries coming over here. Now, because of where Feast has located his tech, that overlord is not going to end up living to see anything. Oh, Although other Feast. Than two, three gateways that got dropped right below it. Yeah, Feast just decided to show him three gateways. As well as two more gateways after that, so five new gateways on the way. And the already existing gateway is continuing to produce sentries. Yep, macro hatch going down in the main. Two more gas added at Idris Natural. Chrono working hard on getting that weapons upgrade level one out. Yep. And gateways transfer into warp gates as they finish. Yep. Six Look. now. So it's looking like we're gonna see some quick two gate pre or two base pressure. Immortals also now being chronoed out of the robotics facility. The sentry count is up to seven. Observer coming in, sort of checking out what's going on at Idris base. Finding a whole lot of droning. 61 drones to 45 probes. Supply basically even at 80. Yep, dead even for a moment there. Nope, Observer chasing, or getting chased by an Overseer, which is getting shot by a Queen. Very narrowly escapes death. Feast is now moving out. He has a couple oh. Immortals, a few Stalkers, the Sentries, and a couple Zealots. Observer, observer sees it at the tower. Idra is producing a large number of roaches. Also has a few zerglings out here waiting, also advancing a spine crawler forward. Yep, and building two new spine crawlers at his third, three new spine crawlers. Now Feast Four is knocking crawlers. down the destructible debris outside Idra's third. It goes down, there's a couple roaches here. A bunch more spines being added also at the third, four of them. Guardian shield goes up, a couple of force fields go up trying to control the roaches. Feast pushes in here, a couple more force fields trying to pin the roaches in. Spinecrawler managing yeah. to poke from the low ground and a couple other spinecrawlers are now finishing. The roaches are dying a lot though and the spine crawl a couple spinecrawlers have gone down. A couple more are about to finish though. One of them dies right as it's about to finish. Yeah. And Feast just got... uh, ooh, pins in all the drones with a couple more force fields and he'll now kill those too. And Feast has broken Idra's third. Hatchery is now going down. And it dies. A few Zerglings run in with the Broodlings. They just go behind the minerals. And then get cleaned up. And Idra GG's. Yeah, he just sort of didn't have enough of an answer for that army. He had, you know, 17 roaches were but were just fresh off the production line. But I think the reinforcements from the six gateways... He, he, he just wasn't ready for that much of a push. He hadn't scouted two of the warp gates. He only knew that there were four, not six. Yeah, he didn't know about the Robo Bay either, and the Immortals were doing a ton of damage to those roaches. It's like seven and twelve kills apiece. Yeah, impressive damage in some of those units. And also the engage was simply good for Feast. So, you know, between advantage strategically and then advantage tactically, he just took it. Tying up yeah. the series 1-1, going into the final game, game 3.